Hey there, I'm gonna show you a quick tip for sourcing instant, easy graphics to use in your InDesign layouts. So instead of spending time tracking down the perfect vector illustration to use in your design, you can download a Dingbat font instead and have instant access to dozens, possibly hundreds of different icons and illustrations. Let's look at an example of the Glyphs panel in action and I'll show you a cool way you can make the most of these Dingbat fonts. Okay, so here we are in InDesign. I'm going to open up a document that I've been working on for a wedding invitation. Okay, great. So this is looking fine. I've got layers set up with a nice papery background and a border and some nice typography, but it's kind of missing that extra special touch. So I'm gonna create a new layer in the layers panel. And this is just so I can keep everything else on the design locked. And I'm not going to shift anything about by mistake while I work on my glyphs. Before I can insert a glyph, I need to download a dingbat font. I'm a bit ahead here. I've already downloaded this nice animal dingbat font, but I'll show you where you can find this as well as some other good dingbat options. On Envato Elements, you can find a wide range of dingbat fonts. And if you search for dingbat under the fonts department, you'll bring up a nice selection of fonts, which include dingbats. Once you've picked your font and installed it onto your system, you're ready to get back to your InDesign document. Glyphs are like any other type, so you'll need to switch to the type tool, which is T on your keyboard, and drag onto the page to create a text frame. With your cursor in the frame, choose the Dingbat font from the font menu in the top controls panel. So there it is, LS Dingbats Animals, and choose Type and Tables and Glyphs. With the font set to the right dingbat font, you can then see all the glyphs available in that font right here in the glyphs panel, which is pretty cool. So all you need to do is choose a glyph and double click on it to insert it. So you can format this as you would any normal type. So I'm going to increase the font size. I might swap this for an owl instead. And you can also set the text to align a certain way. So I'm going to set it to align center. Mm, I'm still not sure if this glyph is the best fit. So I'm going to replace this with something else, perhaps a pair of stags. Cool, okay. To separate the two stags a little, I can apply a bit of kerning between them, just as I would with any two letters. And I'm also gonna change the font color to a nice bright pink. You can adjust the size of the glyphs by changing the font size manually or use the free transform tool to scale the text frame up or down. You can also apply effects to the glyphs by going to object and effects and choosing one of the options there. I'm gonna have a play around with the transparency options and try and bring out some of the texture of the brown paper underneath. You can preserve the formatting settings of your glyphs by copying and pasting the text frame and simply swapping in a different glyph from the glyphs panel. On the reverse of the invite, I'm gonna switch this to a stag's head, for example. If you'd rather edit your glyph as a vector, you can vectorize it by highlighting the glyph and going to type and create outlines. And then you can scale this up and down distort it, treat it like any other vector. Another handy feature of the glyphs panel is that you can save glyphs you use a lot or simply just like a lot into their own sets, which you can come back to whenever you like. So to do that, choose new glyph set from the panel's main menu. Give the set a name like, for example, my favorite animal glyphs. Then you can highlight a glyph in the panel that you like and choose add to glyph set then to retrieve that set later on, go to View Glyph Set, click on your saved set, and this will bring up your favorite glyphs in one handy place. Awesome. And that's your introduction to InDesign's Glyphs Panel. It's a really fun feature, so I hope you enjoy making use of it when you design.